We have team coverage tonight from the officer's condition to what we're finding out about the suspect within the last few hours. Let's get right to Lauren Costick. Lauren, fill us in. How is the officer doing? And Felicia, that officer is still in a hospital in Dayton, Ohio. And in the last hour, we checked it back in with state police to see how she is doing. But right now, all we know so far is she is still in critical condition. And also this morning, we met a neighbor who watched this whole shooting unfold right in front of her house. And she tells us the suspect was actually one of her neighbors who moved in a nearby unit just two days ago. And she tells us she tells us last night everything happened so quickly. Like in the snap of your fingers, it just it went bad that fast. Um, the officer was going to uh, come towards him on the scooter to let the dog go do its job, and he I, he didn't want that for some reason. Whatever she was going to find, he did not want her to find because that that's when he just it, it was blank. There was no kind of emotion for that second, and he just pulled the gun and fired. And he was he was so close to her that she didn't stand a chance. And tonight we are also learning more about this young officer. The chief telling us she has been on the force for four years and recently became a canine handler last spring. She's also engaged and the wedding is planned for next week. So it's definitely been a very difficult and hard day out here in Richmond. And we actually have been seeing a lot of support, including this flag right here that the Richmond Fire Department put up. And also our 13 investigates team has been looking into the suspect's history all day. And Bob Siegel has more on what he's learned so far. That's right, Lauren. That's coming up a little bit later in our newscast, so we'll learn about this long, lengthy criminal history of the suspect in the case. And don't forget, for all breaking news, you can head to our website, WTHR.com, or the WTHR mobile app.